Hey. Hey. Hey, you. We're one day into the Atlantic hurricane season, and we are already monitoring something. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Please, by all means, tell me more. Mostly, uh, we're watching... No, not you. So as long as we got this blocking in place, although it does have a... with the blocking happening. All right, a lot of heat trying to come northward into that block. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right. It's a dick, man. You can say it. It's a dick. It's a giant weather dick. All right, what's next here? Uh, risk area. Just fascinating what we're looking at. Now we got a second giant weather dick. I'm sorry. Weather penis? Severe weather penis? What is a proper scientific term for weird Freudian phallic moments like this? Anybody know? It's a dick, man. It's a giant severe weather dick. We definitely have way too many dicks in our weather. I can say that for a fact. Everything's behaving itself this morning. Are you cool? Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. I got to take Fight Club up a notch. How much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? Wait. Yeah. None of us need to be a car in the ocean. Party dance time. Oh, I just want what Newton wants. To reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Yeah, and this video is going to contain long-term wetness projections. So get your protections. You know, your galoshes and your rubber boots. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be like that isn't it heavy downpours coming down in west memphis arkansas in fact if anything that's pretty light compared to what's going to come central mexico has been getting hit hard by tropical depression beatrice they're going to be kind of this continuous pounding on the beach of waves you get down into the gulf of mexico there is plenty of moisture to play with here see that question mark there well we're going to be watching a lot of moisture coming in from the gulf on saturday we do have a lot of tropical moisture here we go. This is the area of concern as we head into this weekend. Coming up on Sunday, that may be the day for some indoor plans, but the setup is there. So we've got ample moisture at us, but definitely a lot of rain. But it is still causing a lot of problems and more to come. Wet days indeed. Still a lot of rain to come. I think it's just enough here, folks, that we could touch off a spotty shower or storm over the next couple of days. So we will look at the opportunity for some drenching showers and thunderstorms. So join me for this fresh, fun, freaky Friday spaghetti model two-step. Hey, man, I'm so excited to be crazy. You know, the red red's going to be rain. It's like a dragon head up at the top. And look how it's just a giant strip. There you go. It's almost like the equator. It's like I'm rebelling. And I'm going north. Wet days indeed. So I'm suggesting we keep it on this. The Gulf of Mexico right now, there's a system that's coming across uh, Central America is going to get in the Gulf of Mexico. So we've got to watch it carefully now that the hurricane season started today to see what could uh, transpire down there in regards to uh, any kind of tropical system over the next uh, several days, okay? The U.S. has pulled out of the Paris Global Climate Agreement. And it looks like the unsettled weather will continue. So we're looking for an unsettled weather pattern to kick off the early parts of this month, and that's where we are right now. I mean, this is going to start to set up more of an unsettled weather pattern as we venture into a next week. Low-level moisture, we're cooling aloft. That makes for a very unstable atmosphere, and when it's unstable, you're going to get showers and thunderstorms. And I think we're going to have numerous showers and thunderstorms in this zone on Saturday. It's just it's not clear where the most instability will be. Things are going to become a little bit more unsettled, but this is all progressive. Then things are headed downhill as we get to the second half of the weekend and the start of next week. But that's why much of Central and West Texas is going to be somewhat unsettled. And looking ahead into next week, well, the pattern remains a bit unsettled. We've been expecting an unsettled weather pattern throughout the Mississippi Valley region, reaching as far north as really into Illinois and Indiana, throughout the Tennessee or Mid-South region, the lower Mississippi Valley region, 
over towards Texas, and now this is spread throughout Ohio Valley, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic. Same story here from Florida all the way back toward Jackson, Montgomery. We are going to be turning wet here, and notice how this wet weather area expands to encompass not just the Northeast, but even North New England here as we venture into Sunday night. Hail and wind are going to be the main culprits with any of these storms that we see the weekend. But there is another thing that is a bit of concern as we head into the next couple of days, and that's also uh, actually going to be flooding. Flooding, flooding because of the accumulative effect of all these thunderstorms. As we get to the beginning of next week, well, we could see a lot of enhanced rainfall. Again, we're talking the next couple of days here through the weekend into early next week. Possible Gulf development in the Gulf. Possible development. Either way, though. Every once in a while, we have a really, really bad June. This really shows the picture. I think a lot of people think you have to look towards the coast of Africa for the hurricanes. Not this time of year. Most of these very close to home. No, the trouble brews really close to home right on our door step. We've had a lot of sloppy tropical storms in the Gulf of Mexico. Every once in a while you get a hurricane. Sometimes you get the hybrids, the subtropicals, or a fully developed tropical system. So the problem with June is it can happen right on our doorstep with a little bit of warning. I'm trying to remind you that it is Atlantic hurricane season. Heavy rain. That's what you're going to be looking at if you live in the Gulf states. You see that little counterclockwise spin there? That's what we're going to have to watch along with some of that moisture. And just a little reminder here. It is the first day of Atlantic hurricane season 2017. Northwest going to be dry and also going to be comfortable. You can hide from the wind, but not the water. This slow moving moisture monster continues to produce heavy rain. And I've gone insane. It's really not looking like a summertime weather pattern. Uh, across the country. It's sort of an ugly day across the Northeast. A lot of showers and thunderstorms around, some general rainfall uh, going on, and a lot of rain starting to pile up through the lower Mississippi Valley as well. That might lead to a little erosion there and definitely some very rainy days. Well, locally, 10 additional inches of rain possible in places like Salina Cruz and then getting up into the mountains of Guatemala. You're looking at more rain to come. And that does mean that we could see not only a lot of flash flooding, but the possibility for mudslides and landslides. Heavy rain, we're going to be hearing about that because there's going to be some flooding problems down there. With the numerous showers and limited amounts of sunshine. Um, the GFS kind of backed off on the heavy rain event coming into the Pennsylvania. The European model still has heavy rain coming through on Sunday. We have a ton of moisture. Look out. The tropical surge will continue. Uh, I'm, I went crazy today. Today's a crazy day. My brain blew out. Okay. How's my frequency? Hey. This is what we're expecting in this mix. Frequent lightning strikes with these isolated pockets of storms. Just fascinating what we're looking at. First of all, we have a weakness in the upper part of the atmosphere across West Texas, Dallas, Little Rock, New Orleans, towards Houston. So it's going to be steamy on Sunday. We're going to see quite a few showers and thunderstorms again. And we're going to have yet another day from Texas, well, all the way into the Carolinas for showers and thunderstorms. It's a different story on Sunday. Certainly, if you have outdoor plans, pick Saturday. Get those plans in. If you're going to be looking to do something on Sunday that is outside, know that you may have to postpone those plans or at least delay them by a bit because we're going to have rain. And some of this rain could feature a heavier downpour or two as well as we head right into Sunday night across parts of New England. We will have some isolated thunderstorms from El Paso uh, toward Albuquerque and into the west slope of uh, Colorado. We've had some notorious June systems in the past, and we even had three of them last year. Yeah. On average, we get one storm every one to two years. Every once in a while, we have a really, really bad June. So we're talking seven days of rain. See the whole thing? The whole thing is green. Hang in there, guys. And Dr. Marshall Shepard points out that, hey, hurricane season starts with nobody in charge at FEMA or NOAA. And that is fascinating. Now I'm having flashbacks when I watched that one eight-part documentary on 9-11. And they're like, where's Rumsfeld? He's outside picking up trash. Nobody can find him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I need to. Oh, my God. It's just, like I said, I'm crazy. Don't mention I'm crazy. That's pretty much it. All righty. Expect more rain where this came from. You can hide from the wind, but not the water. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then toys all over it. Hurricanes, solar flares, planet X, how humanity's gonna destroy itself. Fatty.
each other's necks, yeah, I don't know if you know this. Okay, cool. We are going from cool to downright hot.